In the first 1000 days, nutrition can program your baby's genes forever. But what exactly does programming genes mean? Well, when we're born, we all have our genetic material, or our DNA, which we get from our parents. And from the cradle to the grave, that DNA sequence will never change. However, some of our genes can be tweaked. That is, they can be turned up or turned down. It's almost like nature has its own genetic dimmer switch, turning on and off genes throughout the first 1000 days. By far the most striking example of this in nature is the queen bee. All of the bees in a hive contain exactly the same genetic material as the queen bee, that is, they are clones. However, the queen has been treated to an extra supply of royal jelly, a nutritious compound which is really high in a protein called royal lactin, which seems to hold the key. The queen bee grows to be 42% larger, can live for years, and on a sunny summer's day can lay up to 2,000 eggs, whereas the worker bees remain sterile and live only for a matter of weeks. Remember, the only difference here is nutrition. This modification of gene expression is called epigenetics, and it's also of enormous importance in human nutrition. During life in the womb, nature's genetic dimmer switch gets to work, turning some genes up and other genes down. It does this to make sure that the baby is maximizing its potential for the environment in which it's going to be born. A major determinant of this genetic tweaking is diet. It began with studies linking a baby's birth size to their risk of developing diseases later on in adulthood. For example, we now know that a baby who is very small at birth has a greater risk of developing high blood pressure later on in adulthood. It is now widely accepted that optimal nutrition in the womb is essential to reduce the risk of disease in later life. And this also applies throughout the first two years of life. In fact, throughout all of the first 1000 days. Diet during the first two years in life can have a huge impact on a baby's physical growth and their cognitive or brain development. If a baby does not get enough healthy nutrition during their first two years, they may not grow to maximize their physical potential. Similarly, if their diet is low in iron and other key nutrients, that baby's brain function and development may be permanently reduced. We now know that a healthy, balanced diet will lead to optimal changes in gene expression throughout the first 1000 days. That is, from the beginning of pregnancy right through to a child's second birthday, making nutrition critically important for everyone's future.